couple weeks back, me and my buddy Dave Wilson, we went to Guitar Center, in which that video is on the channel. If you haven't seen it, it's back a couple weeks ago. And while editing this video, I was looking at some of the footage, and just to make the video a whole lot shorter, I decided to take this one huge section out because Dave came up with an important question. I like, I want to know what the difference, like, I saw them in the lockdown. Mm -hmm. But like, I really want to know what the difference would be between, say this, like this is, this is a cool guitar, right? It's, uh -huh. it's, it's, you know, it's a Martin, it's a good brand, 600 bucks. And then you look to your left right there and it's $2,700. Like what, like, is it that much better? Well, I mean, you have to take a factor of how is it made, where is it made, the woods factored into it. You have to take account of all that. I mean, I don't know. So this got Dave and I thinking, and we decided to have ourselves a little test right there in that room. We were going to take that $600 Martin and put it up against another guitar that was more expensive. Unfortunately for us, we couldn't find any expensive Martins we could take off the wall because they're all locked up. If you don't know what I mean by that, Guitar Center decided to lock up all their expensive guitars because they have all wall hangers and everything expensive. They decided to put a little lock on the wall hanger so that way you can't take them off, which, I mean, doesn't make sense to most people because they view any guitar as expensive. But for us, it was like anything a thousand bucks and up. They decided to put a lock on. However, we were able to find a Taylor guitar that was a thousand bucks more, which to me didn't make sense because there's a Taylor right beside it that was 1,400. So, whatever then. But we decided to take those two guitars, play the exact same thing on him. He played his own thing, I played my own thing, and we decided to put them against each other. And then after we were done playing both of them, we said what we liked about one versus the other. Beautiful. Right. Sounds wonderful. This sounds amazing. It does. Why would I ever pick up a $2,700? $2,600? Yeah, $2,700. Well, we should take it off the wall and... Oh, wait, that's right. Oops. You know, this guitar is $1,700, or 1600 excuse me, almost three times as much as that $600 that I just played on. Is it going to sound three times better? Sounds very good. Yeah, it sounds very good. Now, how does that play compared to this one? Let us know in the comments. Yes, yeah, so let well, like, they... comment, and subscribe if this one is better. Like, comment, and subscribe if this one is better. And comment down below which one you think sounds better. I'm gonna have a go on them. But Dave, how does the feel compared to that one? Compared to that one? I so... like the first one better, honestly. Really? I mean, this is a nice guitar for sure, and the cutaway is nice just for you know if I ever want to shred on acoustic. I like the first one better though. I think. There were some things with the setup on this one. I think there was some buzzing here and there. Okay. But I mean, I really liked that Martin. That's a really beautiful guitar. Very beautiful to look at, very beautiful sound. I like the dark wood on this. Actually. Yeah. I do love the finish on this guitar. Um, 
but that's a risk to talk. It sounds a lot better. Right. I well, think personally. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it's my turn. I'm going to have a go at this one, and then we're going to go at that one now. So I'm going to hand the phone over to Dave. There's a lot of playing due to human error, and I'm wearing a bandit on this hand. Well, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I think I think the one you're holding is a bit brighter. Yeah, it's definitely th- a bit brighter. I think it has to do with the the, the wood, the uh, koa body. But I mean, hey, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you buy into the tone wood debate, YouTube. <laughs> but but yeah, I definitely there's something about the neck on this that it like it's made so faster. But for like what I was playing, it kind of made it super uncomfortable. Which made the Mar- like Martin's neck was a lot better. I liked the sound of Martin a lot more. I mean, That's I- what I mean. Like, I mean, it's, it's not a bad guitar. Not a bad guitar. At all. No, I'm not saying that's a bad guitar. No. I'm just saying it's just that I think that the Martin, the six hundred dollar Martin, sounded a lot better than the thousand dollar more. Sixteen hundred dollar. Uh, and this is a Taylor. Yeah, it's yeah, a Taylor. The Taylor. I don't know if we had uh, Martin though is out that we can actually compare this to, that'd be good. But they're all, they all everything is this price is currently locked up. Except for that. I mean, you know, but like, I, it's not to say that, that guitar you're holding is a bad guitar. Oh, I no. think I just prefer that guitar more. Yeah, I think that one has a lot better feel to it compared to. It this. really does. It really does. I just watched the clips back just because it's been a couple days and I wanted to see how my if I personal preference changed throughout this waiting couple days compared to in person. But watching the videos back, first off, I noticed that the Martin was slightly out of tune compared to the Taylor. It was a bit flat. Secondly, I still found myself liking the Martin a lot more. I don't know if it's just because when I watched the videos back, I heard myself say that I liked the Martin more. So subconsciously, I went, yeah, Martin. But I thought, like I said, that might be personal preference. That might be just I genuinely like the sound of the Martin more. But like Dave said in the video, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Did you think that the $600 Martin sounded better than the $1,000 more Taylor? Or did you think that the more expensive Taylor sounded better than the cheaper Martin? Like I said, let us know what you think down in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope you enjoyed this Guitar Center Vlog Part 2. And I'll see you again with another video on Monday or Thursday. Until then guys, goodbye and good night. Also, for the record, I really want to play this one. The 3000? Yeah. The, no, the arch top right around the corner. Oh, the arch top. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like ju- ju- Just because of how jazzy it is. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. It is a 3000. Yeah, that is a 3000. Oh, and it's a Gibson with a different type of headstock than the one I'm usually Oh, wow. An overpriced Gibson. Who would have thought? Oh, no. Wow. No way.